All right, uh, welcome to the second uh, lab here. We're going to do um, some box and whisker plots in Excel. Uh, I have uh, uh, an image of our finished product, in case many of you have not seen box and whiskers before. That's what we're trying to create, right, based upon our uh, deal car data. All right, so we're going to start off here with our, same as before, our headings. What we're going to do now, again, is average, min, max. We're also going to add our median this time, and then our first and third quartile. All right, so box and whisker plots basically are a different look at a distribution, right? So instead of showing frequency, they kind of show the range uh, across which which data is spread right and so instead of using name cells we're just going to um, use the raw data here to speed things up so average of economy I'm going to copy this down and over but as I copy it over I want the B to change so I'm just going to lock the two and the four so average uh, so as I copy this down here just going to change the average to min, change the max, change to median, and then the quartile is a little bit trickier. So we're using the quartile function, quartile, and then we have to tell it what quartile we want. So we want the first quartile, so comma one for the first quartile. We can now copy that guy down here for the third quartile and just change the one, two, or three. And because we didn't use, use name cells, I can just copy these over here to the other two to get those uh, key points across our three different types of cars. All right, so now we're going to actually set up the data to calculate or to draw, sorry, the box and whisker plot. So copy these headings down again. And what we're going to do here is we're basically going to have uh, the bottom box is at the top of the first quartile. The middle line, so the bottom box here is at the top of the first quartile. This middle line is at the median. This top line is at the top of the third quartile. And then we have these whiskers, right? This whisker is at the minimum, and this whisker is at the maximum. And so we're going to have our min and our max. We're going to draw these as stacked bars, right? So we start off with our first quartile. But because it's a stacked bar, each data point is not the height of the bar, but the difference between the bar below it and where I want to be. Right? So the median is at 19, the first quartile is at 16, so the difference between the median and the first quartile is 19 minus 16, or 3. All right? Similarly, the difference between uh, the third quartile and the median is 19. All right? And then my min is at 10, which is 16 minus 10 below uh, that first quartile, right? So it's how far below is that whisker, and similarly, how far above is 24 from 22, right? So it's a little bit different here, right? So we're basically, uh, we have the bottom, the, the height of the bottom bar, and then the difference to get to each of the other boxes, and then the length of the whiskers, right, for each of those. Um, and so that gives us a sense for, if I can control tilde, you can see what those guys are, right? So control tilde just shows me the formulas. So here is our average, min, max, median, quartile, one and three. And then here I actually had the first quartile, but then now I have the differences between each of those different quartiles. So the median and the first quartile, the third quartile, the median, and then how far below uh, is the median in the first quartile, and how far above is the max over the third quartile, right? So control tilde goes back and forth for that. So that's the data to construct our box and whisker plots. What we're going to do now is draw those. 
All right, so if we simply grab uh, Q1, median, and Q3 for each of our three car types, we're going to insert a chart. It's going to be a column chart, but this time it's going to be a stacked column chart. All right, so here's our stacked column chart, right? And so now what we want to do is we want to add the whiskers to uh, each of these guys, right? So if we click on this lower one here, actually I want to add uh, the whisker to that. All right, so to add these whiskers, I click on that first lower series, Q1, and then under Chart Layout, I have this thing called Error Bars, nice and straightforward. Click on that arrow bar. I want to go to Error Bar Options, and under my Error Bar Options, I want to use Custom, right? Uh, and I want to use Minus, right? So up top here, Minus, and I want to use Custom, and I want to specify the value. Right. When I specify the value, so the negative value, right, so how far below I want to go, uh, that guy here is going to be this minimum, right? So how far below the top of that do I want that error bar to extend, right? And just leave the positive one the way it was, okay? So we're going to click on our green guy, which is the top quartile. Now we want to add the whiskers above. So uh, click on that guy, oops, click on them, right click, uh, and then chart layout, chart layout, error bars, error bar options. Now I want to go plus, I want to go custom again, I click on specify value, and now I want to use the positive error bars, and so now for the positive error bars, uh, I should have moved my graph out of the way, so I want to go F14 to H14. Is it going to allow me to do that? I'm going to have to toggle up here with my key. There we go. F14 to H14, right? So see down here, F14 to H14. I should have moved the graph out of the way. And leave the neg negative guy alone. Okay, so that draws the positive guys. And so now I have the whiskers and the, out, and the boxes. Now I just have to change the formatting of those boxes. Right, so now we can simply format data series. Basically for this bottom guy, you mean I don't want any line and I really don't want any fill. For the middle guy, format data series, we don't want any fill but I want to have a black line. Okay, and for the same thing for the green guy, format data series, uh, I want to have a black line and no fill. All right, so there's our guy. Get rid of these legend again. Ah, edit, let me be clear. Yes. Thankfully for our little edit guy. Okay, and so there's our guy. All I want to do now is add this dot. That dot is actually the average, right? So as usual, grab the three averages, copy, grab our chart, edit, paste special, new series, okay. So there's that new series, but we want it to be a line graph. Okay, and now I'm going to click on that guy, right click, format data series. We, uh, so lines, I don't want to have any lines there, no line. And the marker style, I'd like to have a marker. And marker fill, let's fill it in with black. Okay. And we could add a title here, uh, chart layout, axis title, vertical axis, rotated title. We can just call it cars rented. All right, there's that guy. Pretty straightforward once we have an idea of what it's going to look like and how we're going to create it.
And that sort of completes our box and whisker uh, Mac video.